Here we are on the Kenai Peninsula, the damp, wet Kenai Peninsula in Alaska, looking at equisetums. Our next group we're going to discuss in the little field guides we post on the web. We have a key and this illustration. The illustration is labeled, and a lot of little points I'm going to discuss are labeled in this illustration. So in equisetum, we we have two t two groups of horsetails, and that is one we have a dimorphic group which sends up in the spring a succulent fertile stalk with no stems and a stroboli on the top, and then we have the other ones that come up and the stroboli is with the all the green stems and branches. And so so we have dimorphic and the dimorphic sends up the green parts later if you miss that in the spring and get this through the summer. That's one break. Another break is we have these that have branches on the stems, the stalks, and then we have another group that is branchless. And they just have rings of leaf collars going up with a strobili on top. So we have the branchless group and the branch group. And for now we're going to talk about this one with the branches. The one with the branches has a very simple, easy one that keys out uh, all very simply. None of the other ones... The lateral branches are just one branch. In sylvaticum, the branches, the lateral branches, are branched. So that's a very simple one to key out. It comes out right off in the key. The branches have branches. And then the next sort of thing that we have in our key is, and we'll, we'll show some close-ups, and that is, on the stem itself, there's a stem collar with leaf branches going around the actual stem. And then the branch, and here's an important, important point, the branch will have nodes on it. And the question will be, does the first node exceed where the branch leaflets are, the tips, or is it shorter than? So, in these branched ones, is that lateral on, on the branch, is that node, the first branch break, longer than what's on the stem or shorter? And then, for the ones that are longer, you notice how this is lateral uh, or horizontally branched versus vertical. And these both have the first node of the branches are longer than the leaf tips on the collar on the stem, but one has vertical branches and the other one's horizontal. So for the branched species, it's simply do the branches have branches, and that takes you to Sylvatica. And then when you get down below, when you have the branches, is on the lateral branch is that first node that break longer than the tips on the stalk longer than or equal or shorter and between those four or five features you've keyed out all the branched ones and we'll do a separate little segment for the branchless ones and really we'll use the color of the collar where the branch node is that, or where the note is where it's branchless. These are the branchless uh, equisetums. There are several of them. And they're, they're sporangia. The fruiting body is at the apex. And to key these really comes down to looking at the collar, the band, going around where the leaf tips terminate. There's a band. And the color of that band is what you would need. Now there's other technical features with the number 
of chambers inside, etc. But a very simple field feature is the color of the band. For instance, if the band is gray, it's Hymali, and that is a very, very common uh, equisetum. But if it's black, as this one is, it's Levigatum. But then, if, if it's a white band with very coarse stems, it is um, Variegatum. So, really, you get all three just based on is it ash gray, Hymeli? Is it black, Labigata? Is it white with very coarse stems, Variegatum? And those are the unbranched equisetums.